enthusiasm or zeal is the power that moves us forward that fires us with energy it's the fuel that is necessary in our growth and development it's the urge to stretch to drive to excel the desire to improve and contribute remember now this is a power that you already have you have the power of enthusiasm you have all that you ever need or can use but maybe you feel bored or dull or burned out or exhausted or defeated or sad now we all have those feelings at times if you seem to lack this power of enthusiasm in life then return to that silent state that state of quiet and inner contact with your unlimited source that supplies you the God within now some people try to pump up or drum up enthusiasm they're told to look in the mirror in the morning and say wow am I enthusiastic well that's one way but there's an even deeper well of enthusiasm than that even the origin of the word itself indicates that this is a divine attribute that is closely connected to a cosmic energy that burns within us enthusiasm comes from the Greek in meaning in and theos meaning God it's being literally on fire or possessed by God there's a framed piece of what looks like rough school construction paper in the library at Unity School. And Charles Fillmore, who developed the system of the 12 powers that we're surveying here, wrote it back in 1948 with what looks like a crayon. It says, I fairly sizzle with zeal and enthusiasm and spring forth with a mighty faith to do the things that ought to be done by me. He was 94 when he wrote that on a scrap of paper. It was a few months before he died, but he was still enthusiastic. He was still in love with life and living. He still wanted to accomplish and serve. He said that enthusiasm is the impulse to go forward, the urge behind all things. Now, some people get fired up with enthusiasm and then they ride off in all directions. So enthusiasm has to be channeled in an orderly way if we're to do our best work. It's like people who have great talent but can't get their act together. They can't organize their lives enough to capitalize on their abilities and their talent is not fully realized or expressed. Now, all of us have known people with marvelous abilities who are passionate about singing or computers or writing or landscaping but they never have been able to organize their talents and efforts in a successful way so overzealous people tend to be overly active overly involved in a myriad of projects unable to set healthy boundaries to others demands or needs have too many irons in the fire and drive themselves ahead at full speed ahead and overzealous people uh, aren't balanced they aren't using their faculty of order and they can crash and burn out and break down and lose people they care about the old saying is no one ever complained on their deathbed that they wish they'd spend more time at the office now we do need enthusiasm to accomplish anything and rightly understood and rightly channeled our enthusiasm brings zest for living and joy and exuberance and the ability to convert good desires into successful outcomes that make a positive contribution to the world.